Hi again everyone, so this is the second presentation to do with your annotated bibliography and it deals with the second big part on the template where you have to write an evaluation of each of your three sources that you have found as a result of your search strategies. So we're going to have a look at the criteria that you will use and address in that evaluation. So there's five main points that we're looking for you to mention. Um, so you must talk about the relevance of the re resource, the coverage of the topic of your resource, the authority of the resource, its objectivity and its currency. And what you should be aiming to do is to write a couple of sentences addressing each point. So let's have a look at the kind of things you could um, write about and the questions you could ask when you're evaluating your resource. So relevance, so have a look at your resource that you found for the first one and you will answer some or all of these questions. So you might be thinking about how relevant is the resource to your essay topic and answer that question. Is it relevant to one or both of your chosen issues or problems? Is it more relevant for problems or solutions? Or perhaps it's relevant to both. So the key word we expect to see here, of course, is relevant or relevance. And don't just tell your marker that it is relevant. You want to tell them why it's relevant. Okay, so that would be the first thing that you address. Then you might talk about, in a couple of sentences, the coverage of the topic of the resource. So again, some or all of these questions might be useful as prompts for you. So think about who it's written for, um, who's the audience for this, is it a um, popular article, is it more scholarly, um, is it aimed at people with no prior knowledge of the topic or is it aimed at experts and that leads us to how in depth is the material, does it cover only part of your topic, does it offer you anything new, do you think the information is accurate and error free and so that will depend on what type of resource that it is, whether it's a peer reviewed journal article or perhaps it's just a website that you stumbled across on Google which doesn't have any kind of um, referencing attached to it. And this leads us into the authority of your resources. So examine each of them and answer some or all of these questions. So first of all you're going to look if there is an author and then you might um, do a little bit of research on that author. Are they qualified and reputable? What do they usually write about? Um, is the article peer reviewed? So does it appear in a scholarly journal or is it from a newspaper? Or is it a book? Um, is it a website? If it has been published who is the publisher? Is it someone who usually publishes on those topics um, or is it a little tiny publisher that you might never have heard of and what does that mean? Um, and if it's a web page or some other kind of source, who's it sponsored by and would that um, mean anything in terms of the authority of the information? And that leads us into the objectivity. So you need to consider how objective the source is. So as you look at it, can you see is, is there any bias? Does it only give one side of, of the topic or the argument? Is it designed to sway or persuade you to one point of view about the topic? Um, and if it's a web page, is there any advertising on there? Because sometimes that might mean that the information is slightly compromised in some way. And then finally currency, these are some of the questions you could think about. So firstly what's the date of the publication, is, there, is it a new edition or an older edition if there's been multiple, um, has it been written um, and revised, um, do you need recent information or will older material be okay, so this is dependent on what your topic is, um, when was it last updated if it was a web page and is it all still working because that might show you that it's been neglected for some time.